Today is a Lee journalist, a actually degreed reporter. I want to talk about sexual assailants and how they abuse people today. A sexual assailant is someone that thinks they have power over someone's life. A sexual assailant is trying to give someone strife. A sexual assailant might be the people who are attacking me, who like to cut my beard off in a religious hate crime, but don't really think about what it is because they don't care that the beard is mine. If I were to cut your hair off, if I were to cut your beard off, how would you feel about me? The liars in America also like to, to take people's clothing and resize them. That is a sexual assailant, trying to put together someone's fashion that is inappropriate for how that person feels about their body or their body image. A Muslim or a Mexican or a Chinese or a Korean might try to harm someone by taking some clothing that is worn close to the body and putting a poison or something in it that causes a person to itch or causes a person to lose their hair. The liars of America are here. And maybe it's a white Catholic group, maybe it's a black police group, but who has the right to sexually assail someone is our question today. How do you stop an invisible group of people that are mobbing and stalking a man like me who's homeless. What is it that they hope to win before Jesus Christ? What is they hope to win over me? And what are they winning in their minds is more of a curious question in my time. You see, I have rights, but according to you, I don't have the right to live. According to you, I don't have the right to decide my clothing. I don't have the right to wear the size that makes me feel comfortable. According to you, I have to show off every inch and every curve of my muscles as an old man. But you think you have the right to groom me. You sexual assailants are so perverted in your fetishism that you feel that it's okay to filthy my fingers when I'm sleeping. And how dare you think that it's okay that my comatose sleeping in REM sleep doesn't belong to me. And you've been monkeying with my shoes and openly taking a brand new pair of shoes, basically making them filthy, putting mud inside them, and then taking your cigarette butts and burning holes in them, and then really wearing the heels on them. Now it's true, I do a lot of walking, maybe a mile or two a day to get from one place to another to buy my meals that I deserve to eat, don't I? In every way, and don't you today? But the truth is when you thought you had the right to play with my property, put your hands inside my backpacks, open up smaller bags and take things out and play around. What is it that you think you're doing around town? You're walking in and out of retail shops trying to get retail employees to piss all over me by you getting information on the things I buy for me? What for, please? I'm not producing anything right now other than a ministry test for me. If I can raise funds for me, then I can probably raise funds for other people. And before you market a business, before you put a program in front of people, you have to test market it. You have to experience what people might experience in homelessness. Now that wasn't my choice. That's what family of origin, police officers of a community, and shitbags from business did to me.